Hello, honors class. Well, if you're in a pandemic, and if there's wildfires, and the president is ridiculous and gets the coronavirus, you might as well do philosophy if you're going to be stuck inside. So here we are. Let's do philosophy. Please get out your article, Virtue Ethics, Casual Sex, and Objectification by Raja Hawani. So you've read this article before you watch this video. Please get it out. Maybe you'll take a few notes during the video. So pause if you need to go find it. And here we go. I have a little PowerPoint. Ethical Argument Moves by Raja Halwani. So that's our focus for this little video. Summary of Halwani's Argument Moves. So we're going to look at three things. One is that he uses definitions. Two, his use of questions to establish focus. And the third, he uses a conditional argument. X is permissible if, okay, let's start. Definitions. Halwani defines casual sex. So let's go back to Halwani, and we can see that he does this on page 56. And his basic definition is right here, casual sex is sexual activity that occurs outside the context of a love relationship. Notice he's not making his argument yet, but he's laying the groundwork. And you will do this too in your papers for this class. Sometimes you will need to give definitions. Next. Use of questions to establish focus. So Hawani asks his central question on page 57. So let's go take a look. Okay, so here's page 57, casual sex and virtue. And at the end of this paragraph right here, in the beginning of the next one, you can see he's asking questions. One question then is, are people's desires for casual sex permissible or worthwhile? Is there anything wrong with desiring to have casual sex? Further, assuming that desires for casual sex are morally permissible, ought they be acted on? So notice that he's asking his central question in his essay in order to establish focus in order to make it really clear what his topic is. And I think this is an argument move that you can use in your papers also. Next. So I'm going to interpret Hawani's argument in this kind of way. A conditional argument. Something is morally permissible if so it's conditional, meaning X is morally permissible if certain conditions apply. Condition one, condition two, condition three, check your boxes. And if it meets the conditions, it's morally permissible. And there might be variations. X is not morally permissible if, or X is morally obligatory if. Here's another variation. X is morally permissible unless certain conditions apply. Okay? So I, I think this is a good way of summarizing Hawani's argument. So this is my summary of Hawani's argument. I think it can be summarized in other ways, but this is my proposal to you. From a virtue ethics perspective, the typical cases of casual sex are morally permissible if the pursuit of casual sex is not all-consuming, Hawani 58. There's no malicious intent, like revenge against your ex, Hawani 59. 
you attend to your partner's wants and needs, and hence do not objectify too much. Halwani 60. You don't objectify in morally, in a morally repugnant way. Halwani 61. So I think this is his argument in a nutshell, and it's a conditional argument. Casual sex is morally permissible if the, those conditions apply. Let's go back to the article one more time, and then we'll finish up. And I think to get a handle on a philosophical argument, I think it's useful to, to review the beginning of the article and the end. So at the very beginning of the article, Hawani writes, I shall discuss the ethics of casual sex, arguing that from the point of view of virtue, whether casual sex is immoral depends on the case but that, in general, it is not morally wrong in itself. So he states his thesis. He says, I shall. So you can see the way he's doing things. Notice there's not much before the thesis. Short introduction. All right, let's go to the end of the article. And it's good to review that, too. And often philosophers write kind of like this at least in American philosophy. So at the very end of the article, last paragraph right here, I have argued that virtue ethics morally permits casual sex in some cases, but not in others. Moreover, objectification in casual sex is much less frequent than thought. It requires morally nasty behavior in which Casual sex partners do not usually engage. So he's saying that casual sex is permissible or not, depending on the case. And he's saying that objectification is not as much of a problem as people might think. Okay. So I'm going to go back to this slide because I like this summary. So you can look at it one more time, and then we'll be done. So this is Hawani. In your discussion of Hawani, you will think about possible objections to this argument. Thanks for watching.